Hey YouTube, Carl Deere, Golden Seal Enterprises. Today's video, we're going to talk about using a handheld flashlight while you're using a handgun. There's all kinds of techniques that are out there. We generally kind of recommend three specific techniques because it allows you to use either type of flashlight, the old fashioned clicker mag lights or the newer high output end cap flashlights like the Surefire and the Streamlights. We also recommend these three techniques because it allows you to, once you get that grip on the light, you don't have to adjust your hand to use different techniques. One grip to rule them all. For instructional purposes, I'll be using my cert pistol. The first technique we're gonna talk about is the Harry's technique. You see this a lot in the movies. With the Harry's technique, I'm gonna bring the gun out and across my chest. I'm going to bring the flashlight up and around behind the, the gun. I want to try and keep my elbow as tight as possible and really pull the arm across my chest, squeezing the back of my hand really tight. As I squeeze those hands together, that's going to give me some more support because I'm basically shooting one hand. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. You hear glass break. Grab your flashlight. Grab your gun. Next thing you know, you're losing your mind. So any kind of stability that you can have on that gun to make good, well-aimed shots, you need to try and take it. The next technique we talk about is, it actually has a few different names. It's called the carotid for some groups. Some people call it the support side shoulder. Other people call it the temple index. But essentially what we're doing is we're bringing the gun out and we're bringing the light somewhere between our temple, our neck, and our shoulder, somewhere along this area here. Because the light is behind the gun, I can now have good target identification and actually see my sights really clearly. Works pretty well. A lot of people like it. The downside behind it is that if I'm here and the light is showing on my sights, the bad guy can see my sights as well. So I gotta be careful with that. The last technique we talk about is the FBI. Take a while to guess who designed it. Most times when you see the FBI, people will have their arms 45 degrees out. Similar to this, it's kind of the light is in line with the body, so I stick my extend the arm, turn the light on, and then the light goes down range. If at all possible, try to push the arm 45 degrees out in front of you to where you're not in line with it, but rather extending forward. This now allows you to be behind the light source for light dominance. All right, so if I bring the gun out, I extend the light outward, 45 degrees out, 45 degrees up. I now have good target identification and I can shoot. In the event the bad guy decides to shoot at the light, you're as far away from that light source as possible. All right, so once again, we have our Harry's technique, good firm stability on the gun, simple index, support side shoulder, good sight recognition, and the FBI 45 degrees out, 45 degrees up, and I'm hiding in the concealment of darkness. If you have any questions about these or anything else, you can find us on the net, goldensealenterprises.com.